Well, hello, geometers and seekers of truth. In this video, we are going to look at an example of the side-side-side similarity theorem. In particular, determine whether uh, some triangles here are similar or not. So we have three triangles. And what I'm going to do is, um, and all we really know here are their side lengths. So what I'm really going to do here is just list out their lengths from smallest to largest. So let's see, triangle uh, E, F, G, right? If we list them out from the smallest to largest, that would be uh, F, G, which is equal to 6. And then uh, what do I got next? F, E, which is equal to 9. And then I got uh, E, G, which is equal to 12. Okay? So that's this triangle here. Whoops. That is uh, the, the, the triangle on the far left here. So that's this triangle here. Now the triangle in the middle, let's do the same thing as well. Uh, we're going to list from smallest to largest. So that's JK, which is equal to 8, and then JH, which is equal to 12, and then HK is going to be equal to 15. Right? Now the thing is, if they are in fact similar, then their ratios should be should be the same. If we compare the two smallest sides with the with the two medium sides with the two largest side, it would be the same. So let's compare um, FG over JK is six over eight, which is equal to three fourths or zero point seven five. Okay. Then uh, FE over JH. which is equal to 9 over 12, which also reduces to 3 fourths, which certainly looks very good for us right now. And then finally, EG over HK. Those are the two largest lengths of their respective triangles. So we have that's equal to 12 over 15. But 12 over 15 3 goes into both of them, so that's 4 over 5. Okay? And so now we have a problem, namely that the, uh, the first two lengths are equal to each other. That's not a problem. But those two proportions are not equal to the last proportion. So we can say then that this triangle here that I circled in blue and this one that I circled in green, they're definitely not similar to each other. So let us look at our third triangle and see if we can make any use of it. So that's this one right here, L, M, and N. So we list them out from smallest to largest. The smallest length is uh, L, M, and that's equal to 15. And then the median, oh, excuse me, that's not the smallest. The smallest is M, N. So M, N here is equal to 10. The medium one, that's LM, so that's equal to 15. And the largest one here is LN, which is equal to 20. Okay. Perhaps it's similar to the green one, or perhaps it's similar to uh, the blue one. So let's just com let's compare it to the blue one first. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, FG over MN is 6 over 10, which reduces to 3 fifths. Fe, that's the medium one, over Lm, is 9 over 15, which it also incidentally reduces to 3 fifths, so that certainly looks good again. And finally, Eg over Ln, is equal to 12 over 20. What number goes into both of them? 4. Four divi 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So now this time it actually works. So that the blue, the triangle that I circled in blue, and the one that I circled in red are similar to each other. So now we're going to write the similarity statements. Triangle F, G, F, G, E is similar to triangle. And I have to be careful here. F, G is the smallest length. 
So it has to match up with the other smallest length of food, which is MN. Now, whether I write M first or N first depends on the, la the next part here. GE is the largest length. So I need to go from the smallest to the largest. So it has to be triangle M, N, L. Those two triangles are similar to each other. Okay? And I want to highlight two things here. First, just because the first two pairs of sides are proportional is not sufficient. Just because we have two proportional side lengths or pairs of proportional side lengths, that's not sufficient. You have to check all three. And, and second, the second point I want to make, you have to be careful with how you write the similarity statement. F, G, E, and M, N, L is the correct way to write it because F, G is the smallest length. G, E is the largest length. Compare over here. M, N is the smallest length. N, L is the largest length. Okay? If you write this any other way, um, there are more than one correct way to write this, but there are also more than one incorrect way to write this. So you have to be very careful with the ordering of these letters. All right. All right. So let's end this video here. Um, this gives us some good examples of using this, the SSS similarity theorem. Uh, we're going to move on to the next uh, video and the next uh, part of the lesson, which deals with uh, a theorem that involves some angles. As always, thank you for watching. Ask for help if you need it, and have a wonderful day.